Morning guys, what's going on? Joshua here with Joshua's Lawn Care. Wanted to show you what we rented for the day to work with our leaf cleanups. Uh, this is a Toro Pro Line 60 inch um, with a blower attachment and the Mega Bucket from Mega Attachments. And as you can see, this is their new leaf collection unit. Looks kind of cool. Got the blower, blows it right in there. Dump it forward, the hatch opens up right, right there. Dump out your leaves, move on. Should be an easy process. We're gonna give it a go. Give you guys a review on this new unit. I'll get back to you later with some results. Okay guys, so it's next day now. Um, we used it a bunch yesterday, but I was so busy, we had so much to do. I ended up not filming anything because we were just hustling. Um, but I've got a smaller job today that I'll be able to take some time and review this thing for you guys. Um, I've got it until Friday now. So I've already got some, some, some miners that are a little oddball. So um, I'm going to have to take the top off because somehow debris gotten into the holes and plugged the pegs that sit into the holes. Right. So I'm going to have to take the top off, clear those out and put it back on. Uh, but I've got a leaf clean up here on the one right around the corner. I'm going to get started on it and try to give you guys some uh, of my opinions on the machine, which I've got a few already. And, uh, yeah. Let me get everything unloaded. We'll get after it. I can't find my tripod. I lost it this morning. I literally had it this morning and can't find it now. So, I don't know what I did with it. Hey, guys. Sorry if there's, like, a wind noise here. The wind is kind of moving. But to, okay, so I've got these cleaned out now. So what was going on? I get, I couldn't get the top to sit down all the way. It was the way it was supposed to. These little pucks were full of debris. Set to show you. See how the pegs slide into the holes here? The holes had some debris in them, which packed it so tight that it was actually lifting up the lid, and I couldn't get it to go down. So I ended up having to take it off, clean out all the slots, and put it back on. Not a big deal. Okay, kind of got it. Oh, this is hard to film with no tripod. I wish I found that tripod. Okay, so now that that's in there, just line these up and then hit them with these rubbers. Ding. Ding. So every time you dump, you have to disconnect that so you can dump. Um, the box itself opens up with, it's uh, on these struts. These struts hold it really tight. So tight that it's actually really difficult to open this thing. You gotta really <coughs> get it up. But once it's up, it pulls itself back and stays flat. But to hold on a second, I got a phone call coming. Okay, back to where we were at. So um, now I've got it all locked down. It looks good now. So, but uh, yeah, the lid's fairly difficult to open, and it's fairly difficult to close. And that might change as these struts wear in a little bit, I'd imagine, because it is brand new. But it does take quite a bit of force <laughs> to close it to get it coming over, and then. Yeah, but that's it. You don't have to tether anything. Once it's on there, it's locked. Um, and then, again, to dump it, if you want to dump it, it's just like the regular Mega Bucket dump. So you would disconnect this Ugh. and this. Ugh. Come here. Ugh. Pull the hose off, right? Open your gate. Just like I can do this one-handed. It's pretty heavy, literally hard. Okay, got it. So, got it open. And then you would just like the regular mega bucket release that and lift up on the handle <clears throat> right but then here's where i see some of the problem is that it's actually hard to get it out of there and i do believe if it was on a grandstand it might work a little better i think it grandstand sits higher right so that versus being on like a grandstand i think it would do better um, don't laugh at me this is my uh setup i did to use a blower on the machine for blowing out big areas don't laugh at me this is the broken br600 from the accident it's totally trashed i can't use it like a backpack blower anymore figured i could maybe tether it on here still run so but then you see like when you open it up the tethering system isn't quite right i feel like they need to redo with maybe like a welded on clasp that you 
lock down, right? So you'd bring the flip over and like flip clasps, I think would be better than these bungees. I get it, it's a prototype, so we're still working that stuff out. I think this should have a good solid retaining system because it does, when you flip it forward, it pulls forward and then it gets debris in these holes which smashes and you can see how there's some coming out of here i've had to i had to clear all these out they were full of debris and didn't want to didn't want to let those pegs slide all the way back down in the hole which wasn't getting a decent seal around the top uh, i mean at some points it was like a half inch three quarters of an inch but then to close it back up you know it's that simple you just hear it <clears throat> as you see it works on that same dual mount system on the front locks into place simple and again like i said like i'm gonna go to pull that lid up or pull that lid forward when i do it's gonna lift the back of this because it takes so much force to do it i actually stand up on the deck and pull on it because it's hard to get it to start moving back over so it does take a good bit of force but so far it's pretty cool I'm going to use it over here, and I'll get you guys in on I'm doing that white trailer right there and everything around it. It's a double lot, a lot on the side. So I'm going to do some blowing and get stuff out into the grass. I'm going to vac it up and then run it back there over the hill. We have a dump spot we're allowed to use over there. All right, guys, so I've been doing a little bit here, vacking up. I got a bunch over there. That's going to, but uh, I've got about three quarters of a hop right now. I'm going to show you what it does as it picks up here. So fire the sucker back up. Park break. This machine has a safety feature I'm missing. I think it's, if you walk away from it, you have to have the park brake on it or it'll shut itself off. I think that's what's going on with this model. I don't know how these ones work. I'm only run grandstands, but here we go. I'm gonna pop this open and see what it looks like. Oh man, I still got way more room. I'm gonna mow a little more. Okay, Randy. You're welcome. Hey, I'm gonna mow a little more here with it. Okay, so we're back over here. I'm gonna show you how we dump. This is where we're dumping. Okay, I get this lid open. It takes two hands for sure. Get the lids open. You see how full it is. And we have to remember to pull the hose. Okay, let's pull the hose. 
Oh, uh, we forgot it yesterday. Forgot to pull the hose and dumped it once and popped that side off. So, we had to retighten that up and start over. Now we're going to dump it. Man, guys, I apologize for not having a tripod today. It was my intention to have one. Okay, and then this is what it looks like when you dump. See, this is kind of the downside, especially the fuller it is. Um, because of the way this setup is, you got to kind of get down here and clear this thing out. I've tried wiggling it around, trying to back away from the pile. Doesn't work out so well. I've been having to come under here ugh, and dig this stuff out, unfortunately. This is my biggest complaint about the bucket. It does work good and it does haul a lot of stuff, but it's not easy to unload. I wish it was. I wish it unloaded easier. But, okay, we got most of it. Here's most of it. Let me uh, back this thing up real fast and... doesn't unload very well unfortunately but I do think this thing would be great on top of the multi-forces mulch bucket so if you get the mulch force bucket and they build one that fits the top of that thing perfectly I think that would be with lack of a better word amazing awesome and more than functional so all right then obviously you scoop it back up out for some reason I don't know and then close the lid again like I said this lid is hard to close <clears throat> I could almost see putting like a rope tether on this so you can grab it and pull the rope because it's hard to get up there to get the angle you need to get the strength to pull it down all right put the hose back on so I don't see this being any faster to operate and use than say the like a Toro Grandstand bagger. Definitely holds a lot more than a bag than the double bagger does. Park break. Alright, we're we'll gonna head back over here and grab a whole bunch more leaves. That's the one I'm gonna keep working on it. Try and do some video this way guys.
tried to pick up there quite a bit. We'll see how full this is. Oh yeah, yep, she's done. So yep, that's pretty cool. All right, guys. All right. So you've seen it in action. What are your thoughts? All right, guys. So after doing this for a while, you see I've made a bunch of dumps over here. I've uh, changed the plan. I don't even dump this thing anymore. It works well, but uh, I find it's easier to just use a rake and pull the stuff out. That's what I've been doing. It's just been easier for me than trying to unhook everything, dump it, get down there and try and pull all the junk out. Um, I haven't tried dumping it and pulling it out with the rake yet, but this is just what I've been doing. It takes me like 30 seconds to unload, so whatever. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much done with my leaf cleanup. As you can see, everything's all picked up over here. There's a few scragglers here and there, but I'm going to give it a quick mow over with the mulch deck closed and just mince the tiny little bit that's left. Um, so I'll show you this thing. It's done pretty good. So here are my critiques. Okay, so when it comes to the Mega Mouth, I think they're calling it, the Mega Mouth Leaf Collection System, I think that's what they're calling it. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what they told me though, was Mega Mouth Leaf Collector. Um, so to go with the uh, Mega um, Dump Box thing here. So um, here are my critiques. Um, so one, it vents the air right here. You guys, if you can see, this is where the, the air ventilation system happens. It goes through the screen and then shoots out the top. And I'll give you an idea here. So you see how that kind of comes down and seals on above the screen? So then all the ventilation blows out the front of the machine. Which is okay, except for the fact that when you're like trying to just do leaves in a row... That air is actually powerful enough that it's kind of like blowing the leaves out in front of you, especially if there's wind coming. It, it like lifts them and pfft. so where you, you know, just mowed a row, trying to make it all clean and you go to come through, it's blowing a bunch of stuff like six feet ahead of it. And it's the wind's catching it, picking it up going. So I've had to do a lot of back and forth over and over in it, but it's still looking pretty darn good. Um, so that's critique number one. Critique number two is I think we need a better system here for mounting it onto the bucket. I understand it's a prototype, so it's what they're working with at the moment. I like that. Potentially having the hose long enough that you don't have to disengage it to dump it would be great. Um, maybe something that's more of a quick release and not this would be a little better, but this, this works. It's efficient. It does a good job. Like I said, this is how you take it off. I'm literally about to pop it off right now. So it's not difficult to take off and put back on. Slip it back on, reconnect it, reconnect it. You know what I'm saying? So that's not a bad deal. Um, but I personally think it does do okay on this pro line. But I think on a grandstand, it'd be much better. Grandstand has more weight over the wheels to drive this. Once this hopper starts to get any kind of weight in it, you really start losing your maneuverability. It don't want to track up. The tires want to spin because there's just simply not enough weight over the tires on the pro line. So wheel weights maybe would, would really make this much better, I would think. Yeah, wheel weights might be the might be the key for this. Overall, the mega mouth. I keep mouth calling this the mega mouth, system, but it's called the whopper a, is hopper. A, is a, is a go. It's a good setup. The unload is the hard part. So unload doesn't work as good as I had hoped it would. It does have a nice big wide opening. And unloading is much easier if you don't fill it all the way either. But, you know, I'm the guy who's trying to get as much as I can in one trip, especially if I got to take it somewhere. Like, I'm, I'm taking mine all the way back there to dump. So I keep having to make those trips. And I think I've made seven trips on this property. And this is a double lot in the trailer park. So probably in total about a half an acre. Maybe touch more. Three quarter acre, maybe. Something like that. And all the leaves that were on it, so... I don't know guys, what are your thoughts? Do you do you think this is a good buy? I think it's a pretty good setup. It obviously needs a few tweaks. I think we talked about how firm and stiff this lid is and how hard it is to move. Um, and again, I know I do recognize that as these struts wear in, this will get easier. But um, so like for me, I've been having to, I've been climbing up on the machine to push it over because it's just easier. 
right, right there. I'm putting, I'm probably putting 60, 70 pounds at that, trying to get it to. Jeez, oh, man. <clears throat> there we go. All right. And once you get it over, it'll flop and suppress on its own, but it's not the easiest thing to open and close. <laughs> So I'm gonna run this thing over and get my final dump in and get my tools cleaned up, do a quick little mulch in of this area because there are still a few stragglers here and I don't feel like just keep going back and forth because again, when you've just got a few on the lawn and you're trying to go back and forth, it is kind of lofting them and making the wind catch them and blow them away because of the way the discharge does come straight out the front. This is, my critique would be maybe to put a baffle on this that makes the discharge actually flow out the discharge side of the motor or of the mo yeah of the of the mower maybe or even having it recirculate twice you don't want it to blow back because it's going to blow debris at you and this is pretty decent the only time debris was coming at me is if i was going headlong into the wind and it would come over the top but um yeah so now that i'm done talking a whole bunch um i think it's a plus i think it's a go i think this unit will work good for a lot of people this unit on a grandstand, I think, would be pretty cub, especially for like your your HOA properties and the and uh, like your res tight residentials where you, you need to get in and bring everything out to the curb and dump it at the curb. This is nice. It's reducing the material quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, I mean, really, really does reduce it really well. So, um, I don't know. That's all I got, guys. So, um, yeah. Till next time. Peace. Anybody who's interested and wants to check this thing out, they do have it available at Schleybach Engines in Apple Creek right now. That's why I rented it. That's why I've got it. Um, and it is a new prototype. Not quite ready for market yet, but they are renting it out to be used, to be critiqued by guys like me and see what we think about it so that they can dial it in and get it just right the way they want it for standardized production. So I think it's a great deal. I think it would be cool. I don't know what their price point is. I do know that these aren't cheap, so that's gonna have some money to it. And I bet you they've got, aluminum's not cheap. Aluminum welders aren't that easy to find because um, it is a specialized skill. Um, so I don't know what their price point is going to be on this, but I feel like personally, if this is the go, if you were to buy the whole setup with the mega attachments bucket also, and that, and I'm thinking you're probably about the same price as a grandstand mower, or as a grandstand bagger. Um, so this does have advantages over the grandstand bagger because it does hold a lot more than it would in your two side baggers. But like I said, on a grandstand, I think this thing is cub. On this uh, pro line, the walk behind, it's decent. Um, so I've been reviewing this for two days now. I got it yesterday. We used it a bunch and used it today a bunch And I think it's a pretty cool unit I think it's got some areas where it can use improvement as in this is just a prototype, but um, I do believe that it could have Great potential especially if they decide to build this unit to go on the mulch force mulch bucket um, With the hydraulic dumping of it will make unloading this thing way better than it is even now it still unloads pretty decent, but again, I've been choosing rather than disconnecting the hose and dumping it to just bring it to my area and yank it out with a rake. It takes me about 30 seconds. If I disconnect the hose and dump everything out, it takes me about a minute and a half, two minutes to unload. So this way it feels like less work. So I'm doing it this way, just pulling it out with the rake. Okay guys, so I just dropped off the uh, that unit, that sleigh balls. So I was talking to Ruben and I've got the name wrong. It is called the Whopper Hopper. Let me get that right, the Whopper Hopper. Um, I thought it should have been, I guess, for some reason I had in my head it was the Mega, um, what was it called? Mega Mouth uh, leaf, leaf System. I don't know how I got that, where that came from. Misinformation somewhere. Uh, but anyway, they're calling it the Whopper Hopper. And, um, and I was, uh, a little bit off on so I thought Trent was doing this was building it uh, obviously he's in, he's with them together in this but um so it's Merle actually is the one who's uh, creating this so I gave him a bunch of critiques not, not a whole bunch of bad stuff but my thoughts my ideas what I had 
I was telling Ruben, I said, when you go to dump it, because the screen position and where it's at, and because of the um, the angle of the mouth, when you go to dump it, the stuff doesn't want to come out. It can't just kind of like fall over and come out. It, it has to kind of go through the opening, and it's not wanting to come out. So I was telling him, I think they should take the top of it and um, kind of put the top together get rid of the lid setup and make the whole thing kind of open up and articulate off the bucket a um, couple of reasons why I think it could be helpful is because one if the whole top opens up you might not have to disconnect the hose to dump it look into that and see if there's enough space to make that work um, second of all would be um, that gets that screen deck and everything else out of the way so when you actually do tip it over and and dump it over it would be able to flop out of there so those were just my thoughts I was telling Ruben about and he said he would pass it along to, to Merle and 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 all that kind of stuff and I told him I said I was calling it the 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 mega mouth um, um, leaf collector and apparently I was wrong like I said it, they're calling it the whopper hopper but it's kind of cool I had fun with it it was cool uh, operating and then we did a uh, leaf cleanup with it this morning where the backyard was really, really, really heavy. And I was like, man. So I started thinking about what can I do? And I had my grandstand with me. So I made the decision. We blew all the leaves kind of into the middle. And I milled them up real good. Um, like mulched them in. And then came back over with the whopper hopper and, and vacked them up. And that was great. We reduced that by like probably 20 times volume. And I was able to get what looked like would have been if I hadn't mulched it first would have been probably about five or six hoppers full uh was able to pick it all up in one and then I went back over it with the grandstand with the with my uh, accelerator grass catcher on it just to get all the rest of the little stragglers all along came out really nice looked good uh Wendy and I Wendy worked today so we had a lot going on and we did two leaf cleanups and then I had to actually go out and do a a, the, a final mow on our biggest property so it was kind of cool we had a good day made some money today i had that um the whopper hopper for three days hundred dollar a day rental plus tax so i think it's what was it 319 bucks um to have it for the three days and in those three days that i have had it we've i've done trying to run the numbers but anyway it was profitable to use it it saved me time saved me money so um it took the place of the fact that i was a, i was solo of having me a second guy it saved me a lot of energy a lot of extra blowing and a lot of um just whatever it worked good i i was i was happy with it but anyways guys so this is going to be the end of the video and remember it's the whopper hopper <laughs> Not the Mega Mouth Leaf Collector. So Whopper Hopper Leaf Collector. Leaf Hopper, whatever. Anyway, it's been a long day. We've been going since early, and it's about 5 o'clock now. So, All right, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Whopper Hopper. Um, if anybody has any critiques or thoughts on the idea and design, uh, go ahead and throw it in the video. Maybe we could pass some of the, or in the comments, we could pass some of that along as they're working on their R&D developing it. So... Alright guys, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep watching for more. Peace.